Hey you guys, it is your girl Kia Viel up in the building all up on your screen and today we are going to chit chat about my favorite things in the whole wide world, sneakers. You guys already know if you've been on my channel long enough, your girl loves shoes, okay? I love my trainers, I love my Adidas, my Nike, my, my, listen, all of it, all of it I love. So it has been a while since I actually made a couple of purchases on shoes, my last purchase were the jordan 4 navies that you guys probably just saw the video for not too long ago but y'all since then y'all haven't seen sneaker videos because i haven't bought any who is she <laughs> look at her trying to grow just a little just a dash just a dash but listen uh this month uh, there are a couple shoes that are coming out this is a fire month for shoes okay november december is typically the best months of like Nike drops and Jordan drops and they used to be easy drops, but we know how that goes. So I guess now we have to what new balance drops <laughs> to look forward to. Um, so today I'm gonna show you guys the five shoes that have really piqued my attention that your girl is checking for. Some of them are definitely it's gonna happen. Okay, point blank in the period. I don't care how, I don't care when, it's gonna happen, okay. And then there are some that's like, listen, they may happen, they may not, but I'm not going to, you know, cry if I miss out on it. And I'm definitely not going to pay resale. So the first shoe that I'm going to show you is actually coming out November 11th. And they are the Retro Jordan 11 Women Midnights. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see these? Yes, you're going to see my cutouts because I don't know how to be like, bing. Just imagine it here. Bing. So this is the next shoe that I'm looking forward to. Does this look like the, the video should I be doing when y'all be tech savvy? Kind of just a little bit. Anyway, so this is the shoe. It has this beautiful navy colorway all throughout of the shoe. It has beautiful navy suede on them, guys. Listen, look at that. It's just beautiful. And they were made for women. But y'all already know men are ready to eat these pairs up. They did an early release. I missed it, aka I was broke and couldn't afford to get them. But listen, I saved up, so on release day, I'm I'm gonna need a pair. It has this chrome jump man back here in the back in silver, and I see videos of them. They say that this new buck is very suede. It's very textured. So I am excited. I need a pair of these because they're so cute. They are absolutely beautiful. Do not sleep on these, okay? Love these. Kind of mad because I used to want the burgundy ones. They came out for like grade school. But at that time, listen, I did not have it like that at all. Still don't have it like that at all. But I got a little bit like that. Enough to get these. You know, you know. So this is the shoe that I definitely want. Hands down, ASAP Pronto. This other shoe, I could kind of live without. But it, it might be cute to see in hand. And these are the George metallic green jordan ones and somebody said that these were supposed to be coming out the same day as the navy 11s and if that's the case these can go by the riverside okay go by the riverside because all i'm seeing are the jordan 11s okay so i think these are kind of cute you know to each his own it's not a bad colorway i don't own any like green shoes like this so i'm definitely here for them definitely here for them the next shoe must have okay this is up here with the velvets must have okay by any means necessary any means necessary and everybody is going to be going crazy for this shoe get your points ready get your raffles ready try to find some friends child the jordan one lost and founds come out on november 18th i have been waiting for these all year all year i have been waiting for these these are the wannabe Chicago Jordan ones and y'all all I can say is they say it's like 500k pair all together they're going to be coming out in gray school adults toddlers crib sizes grandpa grandma sizes auntie sizes my size because I'm gonna get them okay point blank in the period I just want one just one these will be coming out and these are going to be a ridiculous shoe to cop so listen Sis, when I hit, don't play with me. I have pepper spray and a stun gun, okay? Don't, don't, don't try me. You ain't finna ride me out in the streets. I'm gonna have to take somebody with me for these because y'all already acting up for basic stuff. I know y'all gonna be in the streets acting wild if I come out with a footlock of ox with these in them. Like, psh, 
listen, not me, not me, but these are definitely a must-have. I'm excited for these. So is everybody else in the sneaker community. And these are just so clean. I need a pair. This is, listen, love them. Love them. So the next shoe that's supposed to be coming out, and there may be a couple of them dropping at the same time. I'm not sure, but the DJ Khaled, We The Best Shoes in the Color Sale. Now, these come out November 24th. This is the sale colorway, but I think they're also supposed to be coming out in like this like pinkish colorway as well. He has a couple of colorways that's supposed to be coming out, but these are supposed to be releasing. Now, these are going to be extremely hard because these aren't the type of shoes that Foot Locker releases I don't think so. I don't know. I feel like this is just going to be sneakers at and a couple of raffle places. I don't feel like they're going to be that widely available. So this is definitely one of the hard to get shoes. I think they're cute. I love the pink ones, but I also love the blue ones. I don't know if they're going to be releasing though. So listen, it's all up in the air still with, the re with this release. But we know for a fact that these Jordan 5s will be coming out here in this month. So yeah. Yes. And then the last shoe I'm going to show y'all <sighs> that your girl needs, <laughs> that, she, that she wants, that she wants. This does not come out, I feel like, if they do even come out. Because listen, y'all know that the Nike trains or whatever, the cargo, whatever, got robbed for these already. And people already like have them and have been reselling them. So y'all already know the Jordan Cherry 11s. I want a pair. Okay, I want some pie. Now, I feel like these should be coming out in December. They were planned to anyway, but we don't know now. Because, like I said, people came and they hijacked it. And they took a lot of these. And they have been reselling them. Like, I don't know. I feel like if they do release them, they're going to be very, like, limited edition. Or limited, not limited edition, but limited and I feel like this was going to be a fun shoe for everybody to go for. Because it's typical that when they do release the Jordan 11s on the holidays, it's so many pairs that it makes everything fun. But because we have some stoop soups out here in these street streets that wanted to rob and take stuff that didn't belong to them, I feel like they have messed up our fun. And so now, like, I feel like it's going to be ridiculous. And it might not even happen. So we don't know. We don't have any news or they might get pushed back while Nike remakes more pairs. So, listen, those are my top five shoes that I am excited for, that I cannot wait. But if we're being honest, if we're being honest, if I delete this list, it's actually three pair that I want just for real. It would be the navy ones for sure. Number one next week. Yes, please. As well as the lost and found for sure. Forget the rest. Yes, ma'am. And then the cherries the next month. So literally, these are the top three that I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, forget everything else. I don't need the world no more. Listen, I don't need every pair to come out, but I do want those. So yeah, tell me what you think. Do you have some shoes that you know are coming out that you're going for? Do you agree with my top fives for the rest of this? Uh, I was about to say the rest of the semester. Listen, <laughs> the rest of the quarter, the fourth quarter. Because listen, I feel like Nike gave us some beautiful shoes this year. It was not a dry or weak moment at all. And this was a fun year for sneakers because we were actually able to get them. It wasn't ridiculous. Like in 2020, psh, everything that released went for $500 after the release date. Child, listen, I'm so glad that that is over. So yeah, that's my little video for today. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you later. You already know. Bye. Have a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course. Of course. Love you much. Bye.